What's going on guys? It is Slacker here coming to you with the 14th episode of our Kansas rebuild. This episode we are playing our rivals in Kansas State and it's going to be a snow game. It's going to be one of the hardest games we play. It honestly is very difficult to play in the snow, not only for the game but for me because everything is freaking white and Kansas State is white so kind of hard to play a white team well, oh sorry kind of hard to play a dressed in white jersey team with white snow as a background however we do give it all our, all we got it is a rivalry game we've been waiting for this game all year it's one of our top games on the schedule every single year not only because it's a rivalry but because Kansas State is doing really well this year and we have a few recruits that might go to either K-State or us. So we really need a big day, not only from our offensive side, but from our defensive side, not only to win the game, but to try to get the win for the recruits, make them happy, and make them want to come visit or be in sign with Kansas. Curb Herb Street has KSU picked. They are number 13. We are number 15. Their overall rating is higher than our offensive rating and defensive rating are all higher than ours as well. It looks like their pass offense is much better than ours and their, and their team defense in general is better than what we have. We are both a 9-2, 6-2 in conference. Cannot wait for this game to happen. We have a bunch of recruits coming this week. This is one of the first, like, one of the biggest games as far as recruits coming if they have not signed already they will probably sign after this game we have a total of eight recruits visiting this game i honestly didn't realize kansas state was going to be ranked number 13 at the end of the year but it does help us if we win our recruits see a top 15 uh, opponent beat they're gonna like that a lot more i'm gonna get a lot more points from that than I normally would just playing a normal team in the Big 12 Conference. So as I said before, huge rivalry game. Let's get started. Right now, going into the ranks, before we start the game, Oklahoma, number one overall. Probably going to stay number one overall. If you don't remember, they did beat us 76-52 in that wild shootout. They do pass Alabama from last week. Alabama was number one. I honestly don't know why they jumped them. Alabama's been taking care of business pretty easy. Ohio State undefeated still as well. Coming in at number three. USC at number four. They come in at 11-0 as well. Top five teams are undefeated, or sorry, top four teams in Arkansas State are undefeated. Arkansas State down to number six. Of course, they haven't really played anybody. Texas A&M's only loss this year is Alabama, so the top is pretty heavy loaded. A bunch of teams that are unbeaten. Remember, only two can play for the national championship game. Arkansas State coming in at number 6, 11-0. They have really not played anybody at all. So, you know, they're 11-0, but they're not going to get into the national championship. They don't play a great schedule to be able to boost them to the top. If they do it year after year, maybe, but I'm not seeing it happen. Kansas State last week lost against Oklahoma 28-35, and then they lost two weeks ago as well. So that's where they get their two losses. Our two losses are for to TCU and OU too. OU, I guess, you know, again, has been just beasting everyone. So not a huge surprise that they beat Kansas State last week. So Kansas State comes in at an 86 overall. 91 on offense, 83 on defense. Way better than what we have. Offense, they're not too bad. They're in the top 50 on all of their offensive categories. In the top 50 one of all defensive categories that is more than what we can say yes we do have the third points third yards third rush however the defense 116 115 126 passing in the country and eighth rushing it's that's decent 
but the passing is what scares me giving up over 300 yards a game we can't keep doing that game after game and come away with wins however we do like the matchup against kansas state we don't like the snow we don't like their jersey color but we're coming we're ready to fight ku's ready to finish second in the big 12 and get in that huge bowl game i'm hoping for some sort of bcs game i don't think it's gonna happen just because of how highly ranked we are i don't i don't think we're gonna get in one but we're gonna try to win this game for our recruits here are just a couple of recruits we have visiting some four stars and a three star heaps is still injured we're ready to go Davis with you bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The name of the rivalry just seems so calm. The Sunflower Showdown. Trust me, they won't be handing out bouquets to one another. The Jayhawks and the Wildcats, Kansas and K-State get set for an in-state rivalry. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Since 1969, these two teams have battled for the Governor's Cup, and that tradition continues today. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. We'll Kansas State going to kick it off. We are home this week in Lawrence. The snow is falling. K-State in the white unis. KU in the blue. Tony Pearson looking like he's going to take this one to the house this would be a huge way to start the game gets tackled after an 86 yard return almost gets the touchdown however he is going to get the touchdown here with a pass from Cummings that's going to be a touchdown KU goes up in the first minute seven to zero Kansas on top after a K-State turnover KU looking to capitalize Pass to the right side. Still passing to the middle, to Mundane. He's going to break a tackle, break another tackle, down to the five-yard line, first and goal for Kansas. Cummings going to give it to Sims. Sims, easy run in, huge hole. James Sims scores another touchdown. Add one more to the list that he scored this year. He's been huge for us. Kansas goes on top, 14-0. to zero. The big issue our defense actually had is containing the quarterback this week. Kansas State, Daniel Sams, 41-yard rush here. That right side was completely open for anybody and everyone that wanted to run that way. Sams takes advantage of it, gets a huge gain for 41 yards. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest A huge off or a huge false start penalty. They were going for the field goal. The penalty makes them punt it. However, they are going to get a great punt here, pinning us in our five-yard line. Second and eight. Cummings going to keep it. Going to, pa going to pitch it to Nick Harwell. He is our wide receiver. He's going to get to the left side. He's going to gain 33 yards on the option. That was very close. Cummings could have easily got tackled there but he gets it out to the outside for 33 yards. However, Cummings does get sacked here, making it a fourth and 14. KSU's defense putting pressure on the quarterback. Pass over to Thompson. He's gonna get a catch for a Kansas State first down. Kansas State looking to drive, looking to get up some points on the board. So far, they have not scored yet. Kansas defense has been holding them. It's a great job here by the quarterback of wrecking that a handoff to Robinson. He's going to get a huge lane on the left side. That's going to be it. Robinson in for a rushing touchdown. Huge play on that option. 
14 to 7. Cummings back on a second and 17. He's going to decide to run. He's going to run it out of the outside. He's not going to get the first down. However, he makes it a third and two. Sims, however, will get the first down and more. He makes his way to about the 42. Cummings is out, meaning we are down to our third string quarterback. You can see it here. Jordan Darling getting the sack on a third down, causing KU to kick it. 17 to 7 at half after that made field goal. K-State coming out with a little bit of a screen here to the right side. Robinson stiff arming that guy. You wanted nothing to do with him. 23 yards on the reception there to the running back. Hubert also making himself known. He's gonna rush for 14 yards and a first down. K-State stopped finally. Fourth and one. We're worried about the fake here. The kick is up. It's going to be good. 10 to 17, Kansas on top. Cummings does come back in the game. We're glad of that because his injury could have been really huge. Sims going to truck the defense, get a couple more yards. He's going to get the first down. Kansas trying to use some clock right now. Second and 10. Going to find his guy on the right side. Trezilli out. 17 yard pass there. That's going to get him a first down. Running an option with Harwell again. He's going to get the pitch. He's going to get in the end zone. Nick Harwell with a rushing touchdown as a wide receiver. That's going to be his first rushing touchdown of his career. Kansas up by 14 now. Kind of playing a little skeptical on defense. Kansas State running right down the field on him. 17-yard pass wide open in the middle of the field. First down for the Kansas State Wildcats. Hubert going to get a left. This is the exact same play they scored a touchdown on earlier. They might have gotten it if Hubert was a little bit quicker. However, Kansas defense able to run him down. Sams decides to run. He's going to get 15 yards here for the first down. Sams just killed us when it came to rushing. Going to get another one here. He's going to run, miss a tackle. He's got a first down. Another 13 yards for Daniel Sams. He's got 56 yards on six rushes. That's huge for a quarterback. 9.3 yards of carry for Sams. Defense not able to hold Tyler Lockett. Kansas State going to score on that one-yard pass from Daniel Sams to Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett is in the NFL doing some work for the Seahawks, so not a surprise there. Kansas still on top, 24-17. to 17. Terzilli with a pass over the middle for a huge first down. Huge play yards. Wide open. Tony Pearson not able to outrun that Kansas State defense. However, he does get 48 yards on that reception, putting him in the red zone. Kansas looking to score over the middle of Pearson. Again, six-yard touchdown reception. Tony Pearson from Michael Cummings. Touchdown, Kansas. KU going to go up 31 to 17 with 518 left in the fourth quarter. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter from K-State. Going to throw it deep. Going to make a huge catch. Terrell Miller, 34 yards on that third and like third and long opportunity. They got it on fourth and six here. Sam's looking, thought about running. Not going to get it. Sacked by that Kansas defense. Ben Henney with a huge sack. That's not his first huge sack of the season. Ben Henney, probably our player of the year if it isn't. Dexter Linton, huge performance by Ben Henney. Going to miss him when he re when he goes on to the NFL. Had to throw to keep the game going. Had to get the first down there. We do. That's going to do it. Kansas in a victory formation. Kansas going to pick up the big win in the Governor Cup trophy. Goes to Kansas this year. Michael Cummings, the player of the game, 18 for 30, 276 yards, and two passing touchdowns to Tony Pearson. Kansas, 31, K-State, 17.
Michael Cummings, that 276 yards, probably the most yards he's had all year. James Sims was held only to 78 yards rushing. He did get that touchdown. Tony Pearson, four receptions, 82 yards, and two touchdowns for him. KU had 17 first downs, 130 rushing yards. Actually got outrushed by Kansas State. Kansas State is the real deal. We just held them to field goals instead of touchdowns, giving KU the win in the end. I wanted to go over some of the award finalists. A Maxwell Award, it looks like Johnny Manziel's got that one tied up. Looks like he's going to win that this week. This week is the last week for the award finalists to showcase their skills. Looks like Johnny Manziel's got the Maxwell and the Heisman pretty much locked up. Ben Nark going, looks like it might be going to the right outside linebacker of Arizona. Not a lot of not, I'm surprised that Walker Award is not going to James Sims. Tony Pearson looks like he's going to win that wide receiver award finally at the top. Hopefully he wins that with after his two touchdown performance. Rosa might go to our kicker. It'd be huge if he won it. He's had a pretty good year, not missing a single extra point. Best returner also might go to Tony Pearson. Hoping he gets it. He's definitely been our best player this year. Going over the bowl projections right now. Just kind of going through them slowly. See if you can find your team. See if they're going to a cool bowl. See if they end up winning their bowl in the end. Kansas looks like we're going to get an Alamo Bowl against Arizona again. Not a BCS Bowl, but we will take a bowl game. We're happy to get into a bowl game any year, especially after trying to rebuild them from the ground up. It looks like right now the national championship is going to be Alabama versus Oklahoma. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see that game. Um, I played OU um, have not played Alabama I'm sure Alabama is going to win it even though they got jumped last week against OU OU is number one right now putting them as a favorites I think Alabama is going to come with the upset comment down below it, what you guys think of the season the season is now officially over we are going on to bull projections bull games please give this video a thumbs up and catch me in the next one Slacker out.